Hey guys, Tom here. This video is going to be really quick and it's probably not going to be very exciting to most of you. The reason I'm still putting it on my channel is that typically when people have issues with their car, they resort to googling their symptoms and hoping to find answers on how to fix their stuff. In this day and age, more often than not, you end up on YouTube. And so I figured I'd record this quick message to fellow Mustang owners that could help somebody out troubleshooting what's going on with their car. So when I ran across this no start condition on my Mustang, I did the same thing, looked up uh, message boards and, you know, looked up groups on Facebook and uh, ended up looking stuff up on YouTube. And I couldn't find a very good description of the symptoms that really matched what I was seeing. So without further ado, I've got this really cruddy looking clip that shows you what was going on at Team Vibes when my car refused to start. So I'll show you this right now. Key fob is right there in front of the shifter. Sort of lights up the dash, but not really. Okay, it's in neutral, e brakes up. I kick the clutch in. And then I push the start button. And it starts blinking. And brings up. Push clutch to start. I'm on the clutch and on the brake. And the button just keeps blinking. And I'm still on the brake and on the clutch. And now if I push the button again. It just doesn't do anything. And now the dash goes black again. Fantastic. So leading up to this, I drove the car on track. Everything was fine. I just parked it and then I wanted to go out for another set of runs and it just refused to start. And what I saw was what is shown in, this, in the video, you just uh, witnessed this, you push the start button, nothing would happen. Um, and most importantly, the start button never turned green. So <laughs> in my case, there were two things happening at the same time that made this really fun to diagnose. So the first thing is that under the dash of these Mustangs, there are two switches on the clutch pedal. There is one that's mounted horizontally behind the clutch pedal. And then there is one that's mounted vertically on top of the clutch pedal that's almost impossible to get to especially once your car is caged. Good news is more than likely if your start button never turns green it's the switch behind the clutch pedal that's the culprit. And what I've seen there is that this switch has a plunger on it and when you buy it brand new as you'll see the picture here of one fresh out of the box there are these little uh, teeth on the plunger and it seems to me like you clip that sensor in place behind the clutch pedal and when you depress it the first time it essentially ratchets in to its final stopping point and so it kind of learns the position of where your car's clutch pedal is when it's fully depressed. So what I'm thinking is happening is on a car like mine that's fully gutted has the dead pedal and has the floor mats and carpet and all that stuff stripped out of it there is no real backstop for the clutch pedal compared to stock. So I think when I kick the clutch in, especially on track use where I'm pretty harsh on the car, I'm actually punching that switch too hard and the switch is no longer happy. So what we did was we put a multimeter to that switch and found the spot on my switch in the car where it would actually connect. And then I literally proceeded to just tape it shut in that position and plug it back into the harness. So then what happened was that the start switch would now actually be lit up solid green. And it was always lit up solid green. Normally you get in your car, step on the clutch, switch turns green, come off the clutch, the green light on the switch goes away. So now it's just always green. Push the button, car started, everything was stucky. So it's like, all right, we got it figured out. It's related to that switch. What happened on my car, and this is hopefully not happening to you, but on my car, um, it started that the car would start again and then all of a sudden it wouldn't 
And so since we found the issue with the switch, we were chasing down wiring, we were going through fuses, we were going through relays, and we were looking for other reasons in the electrical system of the car that would prevent it from starting. Just so happens that in my case, this switch croaked at the same time that my starter died. And so for a little while, the starter was working intermittently, and then it just completely died. And when the starter was dead, we were still able to push start the car just fine. And that worked, that got me for the rest of the event. But then we ended up, um, after the event, put the car on the lift, took the starter off, and uh, the starter would still activate in the sense that it would engage the flywheel, but it never started turning. So we couldn't get the starter to turn, put a new starter on it, still have the taped over clutch switch, now the car starts every time. So if you are experiencing symptoms of where you cannot start the car, and either the switch doesn't light up green, the start switch doesn't light up green, check that clutch switch under the pedal. If it lights up green and all you get is a click, but it doesn't even try to crank, it doesn't start, that's how your starter went. And once I looked into the starter more, it seems like these routinely go bad on these cars. And the good news is you don't have to take anything off the car. They're very readily accessible. And it took us probably 15 minutes to take it off the car. So there you have it. Not the most exciting entry on my channel, but I genuinely hope that somebody that's struggling to get their S550 to start sees this and it may help them in their quest to basically fix their car. So cheers.